Hello guys, welcome to Code with BK. So in this video, I'm going to solve question 3 of ISC 2012 practical paper. So here is the question and you can give it a reading. So when I read the question and uh, I don't find any issues in that. So I need a matrix A which is a square matrix, which is not a square matrix, sorry, of M into N. And M is the number of rows, N is the number of columns, M and S will be greater than less than 2, greater than 2 and less than 20. And these are the four tasks that are to be performed. Okay. The only thing that might uh, raise a question in your mind is how are you going to sort? So the basic, so you can use a selection sort technique uh, similarly as you do it in a one dimensional array. So you can do it for the matrix that can be a little complicated. The very best and the simple method can be for you is copy all these values into a one dimensional array, sort that and copy that back into this matrix. So that is what I'm going to do. So let's, let's get coding now. Okay, so me method public static void yes. so I am going to use a scanner object to read from the user you can use data input stream or buffer data whatever you want scanner system the scanner close. Okay. now I am going to import scanner class so the java.util package has the scanner class ok now the first thing I need to read is the value of m and n and I always tell you that your input and output in the code should be as close as possible to that given in the question. So I'm going to prompt m is equal to something like this and then n is equals to and then I expect the user to input the values of m and n. So ask for the value of m. So int system dot out dot print. Okay and int m is equals to scanner dot next int similarly i am going to ask the value of n and n okay now what i am going to do is okay Okay, now what I'm going to do is read the values of read the values to the matrix. So I will validate the values of M and N first. Validate the values M and N. So if not M is greater than and n is less than 20 or not n is greater than 2 and n is less than 20 print the message system dot out dot print ln size out out of range return okay so I am basically checking that if the values of m has to be greater than 2 and less than 20 and the same for n and if either of those ranges are not valid I terminate the program and I put size out of range yeah that is what is true okay then then I read the values so I use nested for or int i equals to 0 i is less than m i plus plus or int g is equals to 0 j is less than m a plus plus i have to create a matrix so int And a of ij equals to scanner next. Okay. 
so this will be one. So I'm going to write a method to display the matrix public void display get a and m and n and I'm going to use this very nested for loop system dot on dot print a of i j plus a tab so that my spacing looks good. I change a line here and okay. So zero to m less than m, zero to less than m, aij plus tab and then okay. Then I need a method to print show the minimum value. So static void print min value for this also I take these very three parameters okay so suppose my set to store the min value so int min is equal to a of 0 0 okay why am I not just taking min like this sorry and, and why I am initializing it to a00 because you need to find the minimum values out of a given set of values so when you are comparing to find the minimum there should be some base value to compare so that starting value is the first value and then when you compare all the values you will get the final minimum value so compare and update so if min is greater than a of ij and i store the Positions. Int row is equals to zero. Int call is equal to zero. So update the value. So min is equal to a of i j, and row is equal to i. Call is equal to j. Yeah, and I don't need a change line here. And I print the min value. So let me see what the print prompt the print is. Smallest number, okay. So system out of print ln smallest smallest number two plus min and row and column as well. So plus tab row is equals to plus row plus tab two. column equals to plus call and that's it I'll add one more change line okay this is for the smallest number okay then I'll print, print the max number max value similarly I'll just copy this and I'll did a few things to work for max just to work for max value so max is this so if max is less than a of a day max becomes this print the max largest okay this should work fine now okay 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 so i've got the minimum and the maximum i just need to sort the values i guess so let me see if this works fine so far so original matrix largest number and the smallest number into it so after this i the original system ln original matrix Display matrix sorry. display a m a m m display a -M. okay and then smallest and largest first largest and then smallest so change a line I'll 
the small largest first max value a and n and print big value j nine value a and n okay so let me just compile and check oh now in my starting method display oh static void sorry that was a mistake so this is because you know you cannot access non-static methods from a static context you can only access Static methods from a static context. Okay, so compile it again. It should work. To Java question three. M is three and N is four and eight seven nine three eight seven nine three. Okay, minus two zero four five minus two zero four five and one three six minus four one three six minus four. So original matrix is 8793 minus 2045. Largest is 9, row is 0, column is 2, smallest number is minus 4, row 2, column 3. Okay, everything is fine so far. So I just need to find the rearranged matrix. And for that, I am going to write a method to rearrange matrix. Static void rearrange. Int a, int m, int, int n. So I am going to use the sort method of the arrays class. So I am not sure if you people will be allowed to use it or not, but it's still a part of this only, of this Java only. So you can confirm it from your tutor or teacher who was ever is teaching you right now and. Uh, you can clear it out because it's a simple method. You don't need to write the complete sort anything. Or if you're required to write the complete selection of all sort or whatever, so you'll have to go with that. So I will just create a 1D array. Okay, so int values is equal to mean int m. Here is the thing where it gets very simple. So I just need to pass the values method and sort it and copy back to the matrix. Okay, so what I do is set index to zero again, index to zero again, and the of i comma j is values of index. Okay, and I'll go back and I'll just change the prompt to the rearranged matrix. Rearranged matrix. Rearranged. Rearranged matrix. That's what it means to say. Okay, so let's just see if this works. I compile no error. M was three, four, this, this, this. Oh, did I even call the rearrange method? Oh, I did not. Okay, I just printed. I need to rearrange. I just wrote the method. I did not call it. So rearrange A M M A M F. Compile again. Let me just clear this. Yes. Oh. 
okay so m was 3 4 was okay so is it fine now the original matrix looks to be okay to me and then we have largest and the smallest minus 4 minus 2 0 1 3 3 4 5 and 6 7 8 and we'll take one more case uh, 3 comma 3 3 6 45 31 minus 6 7 3 this is some random case this is not a part of the test cases and I will write 22 okay my 63 600 okay my code works just fine and uh, row 1 column 1 okay and uh, 78 is go to column 1 okay so my code is working just fine and uh, this is the code so if you people found this video helpful do like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos and thank you so much for watching